8 News Midday with Diana Davis and meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. It may only be Monday, but already our thoughts are turning to the weekend and the dare to tread events happening on Saturday and Sunday at Craighead Forest Park. This marks the sixth year for the events and joining us now is dare officer Jamie Seaborn. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Thanks for having me. This name, the name is so cool because mm -hmm. you have incorporated what happens dare to tread. There's more than one thing happening yes, here. Yes, we got we got to run and buy or back, whichever one you want to do. Wow, so how does it work? Because you've got two days. So two days, so Saturday we do, so Saturday we do all of the running. So you have a 5K, 10K and half marathon. Oh. Uh, so the half marathon starts at eight and then 30 minutes later the 10K and then the 5K. And so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot to keep up yes. with. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, you've always had this fun mountain bike ride. Where does that fit in with all this? So mountain biking is always my passion anyway. Uh, and I wanted to do an event where it's not a race and people just come out and have fun. And we do it as a poker ride so that way they can win prizes. Oh, nice. Uh, and it's strictly for fun. We don't have a set course. If you want to ride really fast, I've got a guy that can take you and do the jumps, which I cannot. <laughs> uh, and then if you want to ride really slow, you can go ride with me and we will go and take pictures and have a good time. And this all happens at Craighead Forest Park. You, mm -hmm. you've, your job the uh, day before, like on Friday, is to get all this yes. mapped out and ready yes, to I'll go. Yes, I'll mark every bit of the trails on Fridays. Now, so. it raises money for D.A.R.E. Yeah. How, how does it make a difference to have this money coming in? So all of the money raised, we use to buy our shirts and books and supplies for our kids. I mean, you don't realize until you get to buying pencils that you spend four to $5,000 just on pencils a year. Oh my. And uh, because if the oh class is good, God. we want them to have pencils. So all of that, you know, it just, everything costs money and we don't, we don't want any of the parents to be out any money for dare. And the message that you share with the kids is so valuable because there's mm -hmm. so many places where we hear, we hear fentanyl every day in the news. Yeah. You want them to be aware of the dangers that are out there. Yeah, and we try to tell them, we want them to make good decisions. And you know, that's our biggest thing is think about your choices. And you know, if they run into something like that, then they're gonna know that that's bad. Cause we'll talk about that in one of our lessons about, you know, even fentanyl, uh, how scary that is yes. and some of the other drugs. Um, and uh, we, there's uh, actually one of the essay winners right there. And so in order to keep the program going, that's why this is happening. And you have yes. a cool giveaway too. Yes, so uh, at our event, and now is, that was Shy, uh, Cheyenne, I believe. Uh, she was our overall winner, essay oh. winner. So she was the top essay out of 1,300 kids last year. Nice. Um, but on Saturday, we will be giving away, uh, Roof Raiders actually bought a mountain bike to give away as a prize, and it's $1,500. Um, so you have to be a participant in either the mountain bike or the run to win the bike, and you have to be present on Saturday. So if you are in the Sunday, the mountain bike ride, you need to come Saturday. Yes. Someone needs to win that. That is so very nice. Yes. Officer Seaborn, thank you so much <laughs> for joining us in well, detail. thanks for having us. And I know you have a challenge for Aaron, bring the nice weather yes. on yes, for Aaron, the weekend. You have to bring the weather in. <laughs> you know, I think